Thanks for joining us. We're Nina and Ben from Eagle Optics. Today we're going to talk about choosing a tripod that's best for you. When we talk about tripod, there's two fundamental components of it. First, you have the tripod leg set, and then on top of that leg set, you need to attach a tripod head. Today, we're going to really focus on leg sets. Tripods come in various styles and sizes, just like the people who use them. When you're shopping for a tripod, there are some things you want to consider. Your budget, your height, and whether you're using a straight or angled scope. Okay. Now we're going to talk about some of the attributes of tripod leg sets, starting with the height. With a straight bodied scope, you can see I'm going to need to have a taller tripod. The equipment is much more sensitive to being at eye level of the end user. Now if I'm using an angle bodied scope, I can use a shorter tripod because I can bend down and meet the angle of the spotting scope eyepiece. In either case, I can always raise and lower the center column to fine tune the height of the equipment, but keep in mind, the taller the center column is raised, the more instability is worked into the system. The next attribute we're going to talk about is a tripod leg set's compactness. And I'm not talking about how tall or how short the tripod is when it's extended, but rather when you fold it up. And most tripods will have three leg sections, one, two, and three. To get a more compact design, say if you want to fit your tripod in a suitcase or a small traveling bag, you might want to consider a four leg section tripod. It still has three legs, but each one has four leg sections, one, two, three, and four. This is going to allow me to fold up the tripod and have an overall shorter length. The next attribute we're going to talk about is the leg locking mechanisms. We have three basic types. You have a twist lock mechanism, a lever lock mechanism, and a collar locking mechanism. The twist lock mechanism is a very simple design, but not very fast or convenient to use when out in the field. Probably the most popular option that we see is a lever lock mechanism, where you have a lever that simply opens and closes to release the legs. And lastly, you have a collar lock mechanism, which is a round collar that wraps around the leg set that you simply twist to open and close the legs. Lastly, we're going to talk about the tripod's quality, and of course this ties into budget as well. If you're using a tripod for a spotting scope, the quality becomes essential. With all the magnification involved in that type of instrument, stability and sturdiness is paramount to having a good quality image. Here we've got a tripod that is relatively inexpensive, a lot of plastic components, the metal is relatively thin. There's a lot of movement in this tripod. You can see as I twist the legs here. Um, this is probably like your typical $35, $40 department store type tripod. Great for point and shoot cameras. I would avoid it for use with a spotting scope. In the higher quality tripods, you've got other options. You've got tripods that are going to be of aluminum alloy or a metal alloy tripod, and you also have carbon fiber as an option. Both will be plenty sturdy and provide a good solid base to your spotting scope, the carbon fiber tripod comes in at a fraction of the weight as the metal alloy tripods. If you want to get a carbon fiber tripod, just be sure to budget accordingly, um, usually running about two to three times the cost of your typical well-made metal alloy tripods. Now that we've talked about some factors and attributes of tripods, we'd like to give you some tips to make it easier for you to use your tripod in the field. If you've got a tripod with lever locks, rather than opening the tripod one lever at a time, what I'd recommend doing is using all the levers at once and let gravity do the work. I'm going to open the levers on this tripod leg set, turn it upside down, and close it up. Quite a bit quicker and a lot simpler to do. Likewise, when I'm going to pack the tripod away, I'm simply going to open all the lever locks at once Turn the tripod upside down, let gravity do the work, then with one hand, the palm of my hand, close the locks together. We're going to take the same concept and apply it to how we might use these collar leg locks on this tripod leg set. So once again, I can open each leg section individually, which really is quite time consuming, or if I want to get my tripod up rather quickly, I'll take my hand, loosen all of them at once, pull it out, and just simply tighten each one individually. Just reverse the process for closing up the legs. Loosen each collar lock mechanism, close it with one hand, I can tighten it and we're ready to go. Let's go off to the races.
Thanks again for joining us and we uh, hope you learned a lot from this video. Remember when you're shopping for a tripod to consider your height, your budget, and whether you're using a straight or angled scope. And always remember if you have questions about tripods, you know where to go. Call Eagle Optics at 1-800-289-1132. Does this tripod make you look fat?